morning, everybody. To explain a bit more about the problem posted yesterday, we have here a real life uh, cube. We call it a qubit. So we can now add another qubit in this position, and that would be a, a unique connection. So if I take the same cube and I rotate it and I put it on the other side, that's another connection. But I can also just flip it over to the other side here, and that's a unique connection again because that's another face of the second qubit. If we add a third qubit, I'm now taking up two edges of the first, uh, first qubit, and you can see that the, um, the free space will not allow a third qubit to be on, on, the, on the edges. However, I can add another one and, of course, create a perfectly um, legal structure like this. Or I can even be creative with how I connect them and do something like that. Obviously, also, uh, just rotating it. Is one of the big questions on the on the thread here that that does not count as an, a unique connection. So going back to the very first cube in that same uh, thought train is this thing about how many possibilities are there in one cube. So if I turn it around like that, potentially I could have it oriented um, 24 different ways um, in in my reference. So I could always have. Um, the same face facing upwards, and then I can turn it three times around. Then I can have a new uh, face facing upwards, and then turn that around. And th those would all be, uh, be theoretically different orientations, but since we put up a rule that says you can't just rotate the whole structure and have a new, um, a new unique structure, in this case, the one cube would be uh, the whole structure, and then I cannot just turn that around and have a, a unique connection. So as you've probably seen already is that things get really complicated once you start adding more uh, cubes to the whole system. Um, but if you stay true to the rules about how they can connect to each other, so see it's always something like um, overlapping on the corners, overlapping on the corners, or connecting something like that. Um, so this would be a, still a, a fully legal uh, Structure, I know one of you guys posted uh, a really good question um, on the positioning of four cubes in relation to each other. Um, and I would say that, uh, that this is, uh, is a legal connection as well. Um, and then things get, as we've, we've seen, once we start adding more cubes to the whole thing, everything really gets uh, really interesting. So obviously here there's a lot more than 27 cubes. So to keep things, <laughs> let's call it uh, simple. Let's go down to 27 cubes, as the original question was about. So how many different ways can we connect um, these qubits to each other? Thank you.